Welcome to a new episode of Hair of, of the Dogcast. Yeah. Episode nine. Nine, 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 nine. 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 We made das it. Das ist nicht gut. <laughs> das yeah. is good number. Oh, uh, yeah. A little bit of German for you, ass. Anyways, how's it going out there in podcast land? Thank you for tuning in. This, we got a very special show for you today. This is the Hair the Dogest, Hair the Dog cast is show we done. This is the most hungover fucking <laughs> dog cast of all time. <laughs> of all time. Uh, lately, we've been celebrating a lot of birthdays on this show. Yay. And last night, we celebrated probably uh, the best birthday of, of all. Our, uh, of our, everybody that we know. Yeah, the most important birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, our, our buddy Josh here. Yeah, Josh is my favorite. <laughs> so narcissistic, but that's cool, man. <laughs> uh, Josh celebrated his birthday last night. Therefore, we all celebrated his birthday with him. And uh, yeah. we might have imbibed um, not so many video games, but a lot of beer. There was there was just beer, beer. everywhere. I we mean, had if all we wanted beer. beer, we got it. And it was like there, it was here, it was there. and Everywhere. I think it's a Paul McCartney song. <gasps> yeah. Sing it for me, Tom. To lead a better life. Keep going. I need my love to be here. Be here. I think. Right. I think that's the right one. Anyways, yeah. So it was pretty, pretty. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun, but um, it was a little blurry towards the end there. <laughs> and a little blurry waking up this morning. So. Do you remember the old man going up to me? You're the, on you're the only one who's ever got me before. He spit on me two years ago at the bar after I said, hey, man. I, I remember you, something I like that. I see you spitting. Yeah, Don't that's... spit on me, man. And then he spits on me. <laughs> and in the blink, like in one-tenth of a second, I had my hand around his throat. <laughs> <laughs> so he's implying that his yeah. reflexes were so quick, like nobody's ever caught. Yeah, him yeah. I was just like, dude, I didn't want to hurt you, but I wanted to kill you. But, <laughs> but yeah. I didn't because I'm, a, I am a scholar and a and a fine young gentleman. I vaguely remember that. And did you th throttle him again? Did you? Fuck I him? think he wanted to. Yeah, he wanted to go. And then good pals stepped in the middle and said, "Boys, be on your way." I'm your pal. I'm gonna make you not fight. Oh, kind of like that. That would have been a great knockout to yeah. end my birthday party. So yeah, um, <laughs> we figured, hey, we're gonna podcast today, and uh, since we after got, drinking all night, uh, yeah. So why not keep the party going? Yeah, basically. we already have beers in our cups, right? And this is the true hair of the dog. Um, yeah. So yeah, hair of the dog cast, as you know, is a podcast about beer and games, and games and beer. In that yeah. order or something? All of the order. So, uh, we drink beer on this fucking show, and uh, Josh, you want to lead us off with our first beer of the day? Oh, sweet baby Dow. Sweet baby Ray. I got a sweet baby Ray's uh, half of a <laughs> EOS Hefeweizen from Nebraska Brewing I love Nebraska. Company. I've never been to the corn state. Oh, Omaha's nice. They yeah. have some good beef there, Omaha Steaks. Omaha! And some good microbreweries, the upstream brewing brewery really? companies there. Really? Yeah, I was not aware. Anyways, okay, EOS. EOS Hefeweizen. Hefeweizen? It's uh, named after Nine! the goddess of the dawn. Fill in for oh, the Eos. golden... Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. 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 Eeyore all, all is caps. The, uh, the goddess of the uh, dusk. Okay. Eos and Eeyore. Thanks, God of War. You bet. <laughs> Kratos. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff, uh, Bavarian style, German style, medium body, huge banana. <laughs> that what? should have been That's highlighted. That's not on there. <laughs> You're a huge and banana. And a huge banana like aroma, but that should have been totally all caps and like highlighted. But yeah. I've they, been accused of having a banana one. aroma before. Oh, baby. Yeah. And it has, a, it has a really cool old school pop top, like a Campbell's soup can. <laughs> It, totally. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a hollowed out fucking shell or something, yep. you know, that you'd put in a big Hello. gun. Yeah, you can make a telephone. Is it, put a string on it. We'll yeah. It can. Something like that. Yeah. Beautiful. And uh, these couple next couple beers are donated by my good friend, Brandon Kane. Brandon Kane. He's a man in beer. He's a man of beer. And you are dog cast approved. Yeah. Thanks, and you are Brandon. approved to send as We're much We're going to drink these and want. talk about them and spread the love all over your face. <laughs> All over your face. Well, let's uh, go ahead and take a drink of this. Get a little sip, sip. I'm kind of excited. Let's keep I going. I like half of Wisens and Nebraska. Oh. Not bad. It tastes like half. 
Uh, <laughs> I, honestly, like I feel like my taste buds are just like damaged from last <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah. So like I'm not getting much. He was licking the concrete. Uh, um, it was again, um, again, again. Yeah, it happens. Yep. This is actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it's standard traditional. It's, it's standard, yeah. As the wordage they use on this can. And with me, I'm all about the standard when it comes to Hefeweizen. Because he's know. a standard man. Yep. Like the vanilla ice cream, you know. Yeah. Straight Coke. I don't like that fucking Coke 2 shit. Was there a Coke 2? There was. You hear Crystal I, Pepsi's you're back? probably too young for that. Yeah, I heard about that. I bet it sucks just like Pepsi. Probably. Oh, we just lost 100 listeners. D- yeah. <laughs> what? No. Did they get the Van Halen song back for the... Are they running commercials? What? Didn't they have a Van Halen Might song? as well jump? I don't know. No. It was like... Right now! Oh, God. It's Stop. your tomorrow! Stop it. Right now! True it's fact. everything! True fact about Van Halen. They suck. So <laughs> cheesy to me. I mean, I love a lot of 80s metal. But Just Van Halen, it's so cheesy. It make, it gets me car sick. And that's an, uh, an accurate yeah, description. Yeah, we talked about that before. It gets yeah. me car sick. <laughs> And not even while you're, when you're in a car. Yeah. It just Explain simulates it. the... Uh, Uh-oh, Van Halen's playing. Ooh, uh, you know, I get all right. queasy. I got to pull over, even though I'm just <laughs> sitting down on this <laughs> like, stool somewhere. It's still music, and it still gets played you by people. Are still music. Some people I like, and I'm like, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Guys, we apologize if you like Van Halen. <sighs> yeah, you can like them all you like. But, you know, hey. Like them, like, their like own. them. Good for you. You know, you do you. Do you You be you. You like what you want to like, okay? Crystal Pepsi and Van Halen, I'm not judging. <laughs> right. Yikes. But that whole Sammy Hagar thing, I don't know. That's that's uh, really, yeah. Yeah, and then don't get me started on Gary Sharon. Where don't, are we going right now? I don't know. <laughs> this is what happens <laughs> after a night of drinking. Das Herr of Dice. Das. Das, das, das. Hutzkast. Das Hutzkast. Nein! Okay, I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> but anyways, Josh... You want to talk about some news, maybe? I love the news. You ever watch the news and it's all Actually, about you know people what? dying and getting exploded? Before we do that, I, have, you been, have you been playing anything fun? Oh, baby. I played a lot of random shit lately. Yep. Uh, I went through a few levels of Ninja Gaiden 2 the other day. I actually never played the second one. But what do you think compared to the first one? Very similar. Very but similar. So, uh, I liked it. It was fun, but yeah. I'm like, oh, I gotta go do something now. I think I did. I gotta go adult. I had to go to the gym and be a really strong boy. Oh, so, good for you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Josh is still a growing, growing man. Yeah, boy, um, man boy. child, man child boy, robot, man boy. Terminator. Robot. <laughs> okay. But yeah, um, play some Ninja Gaiden two. Fuck yeah, man. Oh, a friend brought over a bunch of. Uh, a uh, bunch of his collection from when he was a kid. He didn't know he had it still. He thought it was just gone. And uh, he turned out to have all those like heavy hitters, uh, like uh, some rare Bomber, rare. Bomberman 2, RC Pro-Am 2, Blues Brothers, Cool World, all these kind of expensive Nintendo games currently. Yeah. I'm he just, guessing he, he must have got on his Nintendo... Uh, these were just kick. his games from childhood? He wasn't yeah. a, not a collector or anything. Yeah. Right? You know, like, you have a lot of actual expensive games here. God, like, what a you should... fucker. Yeah, I know. I'm what like, you fucker. better eBay these fuckers off. <laughs> yeah. But he knew, like, the value of them. Yeah. Me. I that bought a sucks. couple of the Man. standard $10 gems off him, but... Right. Yeah. Is that Dusty? Trog. Yeah. The man. Shout out to Dusty. Dusty. And all your awesome games from your childhood. How dare you not sell them off like <laughs> me? He's going to. I'm just really He's jealous a of smart you. boy. Yeah, <laughs> but wow. So, uh, what were the? Uh, what was probably the uh, the most valuable? I think Bomberman Two is around the one sixty five, one seventy five range. Oh, he's got booklets for all that shit. So yeah. that's even more money. That's really cool. Yeah, good for him. Yeah, but yeah. So we played some of those games. Honestly, most of those high price games sucked. Right. Wampum was a cool game. That oh yeah. And that wasn't that high price, but like a forty dollar game. Konami. Cool That's game, Konami cool game. game. And then uh, he plays RC, an Indian. RC Pro Am Two definitely better than the original. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Although the not one hundred and ten dollars better. No, but 
Yeah. No. Like I said, you can get that on that rare replay for Xbox One for like 20 bucks, <laughs> along with like 29 other games. So Yeah. You know. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, pretty bad game. <laughs> pretty bad property. Cool World around. was kind of awful. Cool. Was that fucking uh, Kim Basinger? Was she in that movie? Brad Pitt. And then mm-hmm. I don't, I haven't seen it since I was a little kid. It was like Ralph Bakshi animation, um, hybrid live action animation thing, like Roger yeah. Rabbit. Just for adults, yeah, yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, I never saw it either. I no, you remember. didn't. Yeah, you did not. That's correct. Oh yeah. And then uh, let's see. I played some Zombie Revenge for my first time the other day. Yeah. I picked that up. Got that. A little tie into our uh, discussion yeah. in a little bit. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And that's pretty much enough of things I've played for five seconds at a time. And right on. Yeah. Nice man. It was that, fun. Yeah. That's Best day good. ever. I bet. I mean, it'd be like Christmas. Like, guy comes over with a tote full of like, hey, you want to play my old games? Yeah, I want to play with the old games, boy. Like, shit, man. Show me what you got. Right. Just waving them all in your face like, these are mine. Yeah. These are mine. That's exactly what he's doing. I'm glad you've been playing games because I haven't been playing a damn I knew you were going to say that. I'm Tom. I'm always working. I'm so busy. Been pretty busy lately, and when I haven't been working, I've been on a, like a movie kick lately. Um, Movies are cool. Yeah, I've, I've kind of, you know, I go in spurts with like listening to music a lot, playing games a lot, or, you know, I'm not a good multitasker of like, I'm going to play a game, I'm going to play a, watch a movie now. It's either like, I'm just going to mainline fucking eight movies in a row, and, <laughs> and you know. Uh, so I've, I've been kind of doing that when I have downtime. I, I still have been playing the Deus Ex, um, the Mankind Divided, a little bit when I get around to it. And I, I do like that game. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, I haven't really – it hasn't gripped me enough where I'm like, I can't wait to, you know. Get home and play Get this. home and play it or, yeah, turn it on and shit. So. I hate that. Like when you really want to play a game, you're like, fucking responsibilities. I'm not going to be able to touch this controller for a week. It happens all the time. Like I'll be at, For a freaking week. I'll be working and I'm like, I can't wait to get off of work so I can just play this fucking game. And then when I'm finally out of work, I have no desire to play the game. I still, Any games at all, you know? I still am dying to get through Doom. I just don't have yeah. time. I also got to be in the right mindset. I played that for like three minutes. Yeah. I'm like, this is really good. I don't want to play this right now, you know? Uh, so once Almost through it. Yeah. You know, we've said it before, you know, the weather is kind of nice, but it's going to be winding down here and getting into the Wisconsin shitty coldness. So once that hits, that's usually when a video game controllers Tom pick up, comes out of his cocoon and starts playing like a little butterfly. Yeah, little you are. A little video game playing butterfly. Just will you flap, your, with will you flap those stuff. lips? What? What just happened? I don't know. I Good think I had a stroke. Good. Whatever. What else? What? what, what? Oh. What abs? <laughs> um, I guess we uh, we can move on to the news for a little bit. There's not much to talk. Welcome about. Welcome to the news. But uh, with Tom yeah, and Josh. With Tom and Josh in the morning. Um, I'm kind of a uh, hardware whore when it comes to like consoles and. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah. He's got sh- really shifty whore like eyes yeah. or something. Yeah. Just a slut hardware, hardware whore lo- eyes. Yeah. So I figured, you know, we should probably uh, just go over this a little bit. Um, I think like a week and a half ago, uh, Sony of the Sony PlayStation, uh, that company, Ooh. had a meeting uh, where they officially announced a new slim PS4 that we yeah. kind of talked about on the last podcast that leaked. Uh, they officially announced that. And I think that's actually, that came out. Two days ago? The 15th of September. So that is now the new PlayStation 4. It's just slimmer. I think it's $299. Um, and we went over that uh, before. So check out our last podcast if you want to hear talk about that. But they also officially announced what we were calling the PlayStation Neo, uh, this upgraded kind of mid-step, not the PlayStation 5, but it's kind of like a souped-up version of the PlayStation 4. Uh, it's now... It's no longer called the Neo, the code name. It's actually, the official title is, it's called the PlayStation 4 Pro. So it's like, like yeah. the iPhone 6S, basically, yep. version. That's how they're all getting named now. Yeah, uh, it, it has upgraded graphics uh, capability. Uh, I think the GP, the graphics processing unit is like twice as powerful <clears throat> as the first uh, PlayStation 4, the old one. And yeah, and it's got some, a few other features. Um, it could do supposedly do 4K gaming, but not really. Um, 
Hmm. That sounds dumb. It it is like you know not really. It's coming out this November on November tenth uh, for three hundred ninety nine dollars, uh, one terabyte hard drive. So you supposedly get better graphics, but it plays games that. When are they going to upgrade to like a five terabyte hard drive? <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, that they needs they, they to did be a make thing now. They did make the uh, the new PlayStation Four, like the slim yeah. version that just came out a couple days ago. Uh, they made the hard drive. That door, already came out. Yeah, they made the really. Hard, they made the hard drive door easier to. It's, I guess it's easier to install a new hard drive if you want to go that route. But you can just plug in an external fucking hard drive. That's what I do for my stuff. So fuck yeah, I need to do that bad. Yeah. Um. But with this PlayStation Four Pro, um, they didn't really make a good case of why you need it. You know, they did. It was funny. They they had this meeting and they were showing all this 4K footage and with this HDR high dynamic range uh, lighting, but. All the str- the internet streams are like less than 1080p, you know, just you know, you, shitty resolution. Yeah. So you couldn't see like any difference. You know, if you were actually at one of the hundred people at the meeting, they had these big, you know, 4K monitors where supposedly people said like, yeah, it does look a lot. Some of these games that are optimized to use it, uh, the upgraded graphics capabilities look good. But um, yeah, no, uh, watching the stream, you can't, re- you didn't really see much hmm. difference. You know, so. That's wild. So I guess it's just for people that really want, you know, uh, the top notch of the top notch. To yeah. Also, if you have money to waste. Yep. Um, so they're re- they're kind of going back and patching a lot of their first party games to have up res graphics and whatnot. But the thing is, is like the games aren't really going to be different so much uh, as you know, really taking advantage of the horsepower because all these games have to run on the first PlayStation Four. You know, they're not going to make specific you know uh, games just made for the playstation pro and shit so i don't know i just wanted to get that out there i a lot of people are kind of down on it uh sony had a pretty bad pr week uh last week it's probably this whole console cycle sony's kind of been hitting grand slams hasn't really been slipping up you know microsoft's been playing catch up um yeah they've been running the show pretty much um but in the fact they release early i do notice a trend in if you release your system early, sometimes it tends to be the one that leads the way because mm-hmm. people are impatient to wait for the next console. Yeah, uh, that's certainly benefited the uh, Xbox 360. Yeah, you know, I noticed. One year head start. Um, mm-hmm. But just with kind of the muddied message of this new console, no, not really giving a good uh, uh, good reasons of why you need it. Um, they had some other PR issues with uh, uh, Bethesda software. This is probably... Probably the worst week of this generation, at least comparatively speaking, that Sony's had. They've had to like come out and just you know try to clarify their messages and stuff. Um, so this is kind of like the first stumble of this generation for them. Um, and of course, Microsoft, you know, hit back. They have this their new or their slim Xbox, basically, which checked. They came right back and countered with, uh, "Hey." we can do everything that the PlayStation Pro can do and it's available now. And the the weird thing is, is, um, you know, 4K Blu-rays? I don't know if, you know, that's a thing. Yeah. Okay. Nothing I'm looking to get into, though. Yeah. Well, not a lot of people, you know, if you don't have a 4K TV, yeah. there's no fucking point to it. And that's the other thing. You need a 4K TV to take advantage of any of uh, the capabilities that this thing offers. Um, the new PS Pro... Do- oh, I heard. Doesn't come with a 4K Blu-ray player, which which is weird because the Xbox, the new Xbox One, does, does. have that. And isn't Blu-ray a Sony? And thing? Sony owns like Blu-ray, and they didn't put a fucking, um, you know, a, a 4K drive in it, which they, is wait, bizarre. And this is for uh, the Slim or the Pro? The Pro that's coming out. Yeah. You which, sure they're not going to change that last minute? I don't think. No, I, I think they're already. In production, They're, you're already in production of this thing, so I, I don't think they could really change uh, it up. At I, least not this. The first. I was gonna say next run. year will be uh, the PlayStation Pro Blu-ray 4K edition, exactly. starring Robin Williams in Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I mean they said like. They're going to have the 4K versions of, like, the Netflix and the Amazon app so you can stream 4K yeah. content. Yeah, but which a majority of people, that's what they do nowadays. You will do that, but 4K, uh, you know, the, the, the image files are, are massive. 
and and streaming 4K won't doesn't... won't come to the top notch. Exactly, it won't. Because I mean, you, there's like, times when I'm streaming signal. stuff and I'm like, this kind of looks like shit. Right, now. right. It's still streaming. Right, but it doesn't look like it's. Yeah, right. I mean, our basically our bandwidth, uh, our typical ba- person's bandwidth for internet, isn't really capable of streaming that high definition of a content you know at yeah. a true res- so you would actually if you are a fucking video file and you really want to have 4k blu-ray or you know a 4k picture you would want a 4k blu-ray you know the actual disc because then the the data rates are yeah you know, dude they'll change stuff. something so yeah you're, I, gonna, you're it, gonna get a playstation pro then yeah i am not yeah. <laughs> i have ps4 and uh my i have a really nice tv but it's not a 4K TV. Right. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with what I got. Yeah. I have heard from uh, people who have witnessed it, and I haven't. I think they have demos at like Best Buy and shit that HDR, that high dynamic range the yeah. thing we were talking about before. Uh, that's supposed to, supposed to be like the actual real fucking deal. Yeah. Like from uh, people I've talked to and have. One, that once they witness like, you know, the, 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 the range of colors that that can. <clears throat> Uh, display like an, you know they uh, they made believers are like more so than you know increases in resolution. Uh, a lot of developers are more excited about the whole HDR deal. So I haven't I've yet to see it, but yeah, I ain't uh, see shit. I ain't seen shit, but I'd like to see that. The thing is, like, I think it's almost coming like the 4K, and then you said what? There's an 8K or like 8K is on the horizon. Um, but I mean, I heard by the time 4K even catches up to speed with the world like it might be past 8k already talking about you know yeah i mean so it, a lot of people haven't even adopted 1080 fucking p like normal yeah. hd um i think there are stats like there are over 900 million tvs in the world um out in people's houses and only like 1 million 4k sets were sold last year yeah you know so i mean they're it's starting to pick up a little bit, but I mean, it's it's a drop in the bucket. Not a lot of people have the 4K, and yeah. and there's not a lot of content out there that uses that is available in 4K. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Tom, I don't know. I don't know. What are you gonna do about it, Tom? I'm just gonna sit back and watch the world burn. Oh shit! And that's what I do. It's great. Oh, what is that, Josh? I'm getting in the slow down, air. cowboy. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. It's my uh, birthday weekend. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. What are you drinking now? Okay. Well, I popped a, a Packerland Pilsner from Hinterland Brewing. Let's go, Packers. Go, Pack. Go. Yeah. Everybody's Any a Packers Packer fan, fan out there? Oh, yeah. You guys like Packers? Scream for me. Sorry. Yeah. I like the Packers. We, we like football. I like the Bears. Oh, I'm just kidding. No, he's trying to buy your love. Sorry. Now. Yeah, oh, I got a lot of bears. Oh, I like everybody. Friends, everybody so. has a football helmet. I like. <laughs> I like Something the way like it looks. All right. Yeah, drinking a Packerland Pilsner from Hinterland Brewing out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Right. It is a fucking Pilsner. Got a I've face like Charles it. Bronson. Oh yeah. Straight out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Hmm. Red Snapper. Very tasty. <laughs> Josh. Wow. This is a pretty good Pilsner. He seems enraptured. No. I, Pilsner. No, I'm surprised. Usually Pilsners don't do shit for me. But this one is very tasty. I appreciate it. You know, there's no more standard beer to me than a Pilsner, but a good one. Yeah, this is, is a good one. It's like a breath of fresh air. Just it's a breath of fresh all air. All malt Pilsner. 4.6 by volume. Unless it's four point. I can't tell. Yeah. Brewed in small batches for big flavor. Big flavor. No whammies. I'll have to try that. I'm still working on my half a still going, guys. I'm still nursing this. Yeah. I'm also drinking an Ice Mountain water. Water. Um, it was Hydrate, everybody. Brewed roughly 4.5 billion years ago upon the formation of the Earth. And uh, it's pretty good. It hasn't, like, it's aged for 4.6 gazillion years and... You yep. can really taste that 4.6, but when you, you taste some water, yeah, that's it's not got a that little old. aftertaste. Yeah. 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 Did you ever drink water and wonder, who drank this before me? Yeah, before they peed it out and they then it went out. to the Kevin Costner uh, pee system from Waterworld. <laughs> what? And then, it, 
you never seen one. I haven't. Sorry. Really? Yeah, uh, that's one of the. I mean, I've heard a lot about it. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Costner drinks his own pee in one. Ladies World. and gentlemen, wow! It's the first scene of the movie. It, it's a real go getter there. That's awesome, <laughs> right? Well, Almost as good as Dances with Wolves. He really had a good dance uh, double whammy there with uh, Waterworld and uh, what the Postman. You know what? I don't remember if I seen the Postman. Tom Petty's in The Postman. I saw oh, that. I thought Tom it was okay. Petty is a serial killer. Just look into his eyes. Hey, man. I don't know. I, yeah. Just stop That's talking. Just really bad stop Tom Petty I'm creeping impression. out of yeah, here, bro. Dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, oh, and there's one more news item. Anyways, that's the PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, you can do a little more research on your own, but just know that it's a souped up PlayStation that will give you somewhat better graphics if you have a 4K TV. So there you go. Cowbunga, dude. Right on. Uh, the second bit of news is actually kind of, was kind of a surprise to a lot of people. Um, Apple announced their iPhone 7. At, Whoa, uh, everybody's the, the excited. The same day that Sony had this uh, other their meeting. And yeah, well, one of the big surprises was uh, the creative Mario, Shigeru Miyamoto, all of a sudden showed up on stage with a Super Mario game for the iOS and, he would do and that? it's coming out for Android too, but uh, it was kind of like, you know, advertised as like, you know, iPhone first. And it is an endless runner kind of game and featuring Mario. Hmm. Yeah. Which is kind of monumental, you know, that Nintendo usually only makes... Nintendo only. Like, they don't work with Games for the their other. own system. Yeah. You know, and I think... This is a, this might be the sign of a, of a new Nintendo. Might, they might have listened to me in the last yeah. podcast. Maybe they listened to they the might podcast. Might have been like, "Oh, Josh, we need to listen to you." I'm like, "Yeah, dude." Right. And what I mean, can you tell the people what what you? Oh, that saying? Nintendo needs to maybe. Well, I don't know how their system their their systems to me have been kind of lackluster. The Wii never got me excited as much as it did 80 year old grandmothers who wanted to work they out. I love that shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that fucking bowling. So good for them there. But the Wii U uh, definitely was a flop. Oh, and, God, yeah. And the next system's going to be not up to par with the PS4 or the Xbox 3. That's the rumor. So. That's the rumor. <laughs> It hasn't, uh, it hasn't been officially announced, so nobody really I'm knows not for expecting sure, it to but be not, up yeah. to par. Yeah. So, and if it's not, people aren't going to make, sec- like, other parties aren't going to make games for them. Right. So, what's the point to buying them? You're just going to buy the same Mario games. Pretty much. The, That's the it. First party. That's it. You know, you get all your Metroid, have. your Mario, your They Zelda. might as well just release them on a, if they release them on a PlayStation and Microsoft uh, on both them systems. Yeah. A lot of people are just be like, oh, I don't have to buy a Nintendo anymore, but right. I'm going to buy this fucking game. Right. Because it's a good ass game. Exactly. They're, they're. No, I, I swear they're, they would sell so, like, millions more games. Think mm-hmm. about how many more PlayStations and Xboxes are sold than Nintendo. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, you know. Yeah. They lost. Math. They have been losing a lot of money um, just because of the, the Wii U, and they have. And they haven't really... They're gearing up for their new system, so they haven't put out a lot of games lately, you know. They're just... It's, it's been really quiet on the Nintendo front. You know, there are no new releases coming out for the Wii U. It's pretty much dead in the water now. And we're I mean, just waiting for the new announcement because apparently they're going to come out swinging and have all their franchises just ready for launch. Or that's the rumor, or close to launch. You I know, believe so. when I see it, I'm not yeah. buying it, probably, though. Right. So, yeah. The, I feel uh, like I still had the Wii U, and I waited for games to come out, and they never did. Right. So I don't think they're going to do good on the NX part, either. What makes you think they're going to change? I don't I don't think it's really going to change too much. I mean, Here's how they're going to change. They're going to listen to asshole Josh over here and quit the console biz. That's right. Whip out them games. You're going to be like Electronic Arts where they... You're going to be like Sega. Yeah. Yeah, I like Sega. Fuck yeah. yeah. Um, Still like Sega. So anyways, having Mario on the iPhone is kind of like an un nintendo like move. And I think it's a sign of the times that I think they smelled a lot of that Pokemon Go money. Yeah. And No, maybe they will release. They did release some a, games for the other consoles, you know? Maybe. Mm, we'll see how the NX does. <laughs> now, if the NX is a failure, then I think there is a possibility. You know, iPhone, uh, 
yeah, there's just so many, so much potential to uh, just make fucking just shit tons of money, you know. Money. And Nintendo needs the money, and they're not stupid, you know. So uh, I think they are stupid. To, they are stupid sometimes. Sometimes they're very stupid. Very. Um, very Japanese company, you know. We still love Nintendo. Very stick. There's like sticks in the mud, you know. Yep. Uh, that's just kind of way the Japanese do business. And uh, yeah, so it's an endless runner. One of those games where Mario will, you don't control Mario running. He just keeps running, basically. And then you tap the screen. His goal to get coins to, then, to jump while he's running. Yeah, I think. I mean, it looks like new Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. You know, Wii U or whatever. It's got that graphical style. Uh huh. So. Yeah, I, that that kind of shocked everybody because you know Shigeru Miyamoto, the guy that created Mario and Zelda, he I don't think nobody's really ever seen him outside of like a Nintendo stage. You know, this is the first time like I think anyone's ever seen him. He actually. goes straight into a pod and they close it. And yeah, a bunch of smoke comes out when they close it, and pretty much they yeah. ship him around that they, way. They've put yeah, exactly. he's actually just an android. Mm-hmm. And speaking of Super Super Mario Run is the name of the game, and it's going to be out in December, I believe. the The cool thing is, it's not going to have microtransactions. They came out and said that it's going to be a one time purchase. They they won't charge for you know, more, yeah, which is kind of nice because yeah, you know, so many fucking games are free to play, and then nickel and dime you. I don't play a lot of games on phone, but no, a lot of people do. A lot of people do. Yes, they do, Tom. That's right. So. Yeah, Super Mario Run. You got a fucking Nintendo game on a non-Nintendo system. Probably the first time that's happened Whoa. since um, CDI. CDI. Is it the Philips Interactive? CD Interactive? Uh, like in, I don't even know, man. Where they came out the it's horrible Zelda games and Hotel Mario. Oh, yes. That weren't even like developed by Nintendo. But they Was that the had... illustrated like cartoon-looking game? Mm-hmm. With the bad acting the at bad, the same time? The bad animation? Yeah. Like, it looks like a Christian, you know fucking cable access you know <laughs> television show kind of sure animation it wasn't made by them it probably was it probably was so yeah there you go oh Josh just passed me uh, this Packerland the Pilsner. rest of that Packerland I'm gonna I'm gonna have some of this I'm gonna have some I'm, of this I'm not gonna rush though Josh I was drinking all last night he says yeah <laughs> uh, so you had your birthday last night we had Super Nintendo yeah. birthday, Super Nintendo's birthday, the last podcast, I think N64, a couple of podcasts before that. Yeah, episode five, I think. Yeah. Um, you know, let's let's just keep the whole fucking birthday tradition going, Josh. Oh, my goodness. Let's talk about our topic of the show this week. What's that topic, It's a Tom? good one. The Sega Dreamcast. Dreamcast. Yeah. Yep. Nine, 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 nine. Damn right. Um, how old is it? It turned, what, 17? 17? 17 years old. And they're so still making games for it. It's true. <laughs> it's got a great burgeoning uh, homebrew scene. Which um, is really cool. I don't know how many of you guys own a Dreamcast out there. But Josh, I think the Dreamcast is one of my favorite systems of all time. Definitely it's, in my top four. If not oh, top really? three. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, yeah. it's I, I bet you it's like my in my top six, seven. Okay. But I love it. I wasn't I wasn't even interested in getting it, but I remember going to Babbage's and like my buddy Brad, my good pal Bradley. Hey, what up, Brad? Uh, he's like, dude, you just got to get this fucking system, man. It's really good. It's really cool. Everything looks awesome, and it did. Yep. But I'm like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I got I got this thing. <laughs> right. But like, fuck it. So I'm like, uh, oh, fuck it. What else am I gonna spend my money on? Sure. I was like a teenager in high school and. I'm How, like, uh, oh, look at this sweet Sega Sports Edition, and it's black. Right on. Yeah. Uh, when did when did you get yours? Was it, it wasn't right at launch? If you, launch if you had the black no, one. it was probably three months before it was done for call it quits. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I was like, what? So that was probably like one hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> or something. Like it that. was something like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. But still, I'm cool with it. Right. It was yeah. released on nine 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 nine. September 9th, 1999. The end of the a world. A day that will forever live in infamy. I pre-ordered mine at Best Buy. Yeah. Picked that shit up. Oh, yeah, you yeah. did. Came out, uh, I think it was at, I think it came out at like $199. The cool. system cost at the time. Which that's, was, that's wasn't a good bad. price. It was, yeah. Um, yeah. I remember when PlayStation 1 dropped to uh, 199 
I was fucking, I had my money saved up as a kid. Yeah. Uh, I was like calling every store that had consoles within like a fucking whatever radius. Cause I really wanted my, my goddamn PlayStation. And, uh, you need to have it. It took me probably two, I had at to have least it. two months calling like every other day. And it took like that long for me to finally fucking get one. I don't even remember where I found one finally, but I did eventually. You're talking about PlayStation 2? PS1. PS1? Yeah. Holy shit. When that shit really? dropped to 199 Okay. Yeah. That yeah. came out at 299 I think. Yep. Back in the day. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I paid three ninety nine for my Saturn. Yeah, you oh, did. Yeah. Anyway, it came with Virtua Fighter. Anyways. Let's get back to our Dreamcast. Yes, made my dreams come true, I'll tell you that much. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. Like to me, like the, the Dreamcast was kind of the last system that had personality. It just had uh you know, games that not your corporate, you know, fucking you got your Xbox and PlayStation, you know, share pretty much all the same games and shit. Yeah. And outside of like a handful of exclusives. But you know, the Dreamcast games you know, they really tried to do some weird shit. It was very Sega orientated. Like yeah. it was mainly Sega. They oriented. experimented a lot. I and one thing I did think about the other day was that like this is like the next notch Neo Geo. Mm-hmm. To me, it felt like um, just just popped in my head. Like Neo Geo was so arcade esque, mm-hmm. and I also felt like a lot of the random games like. Yeah. Like Dynamite Cop and Zombie Revenge, which I was playing, and like all the other like beat 'em ups, Marvel vs. Yeah. Capcom, and a lot of Capcom games. It just had like the like a next generation Neo Geo feel feel to me. Yeah, well, uh, Sega uh, had their arcade board, and the Dreamcast is actually ba- shares the same hardware or some of the same hardware outside of like less a, c- a couple megabytes of uh, less of RAM. Yeah, uh, the Sega Naomi arcade board. Um, which ran Zombie Revenge and House of the Dead 2 and all these games with yeah. basically the same hardware in the Dreamcast. So And shit. So it's got a, it's got a good arcade lineage. Uh, but yeah, Sega Dreamcast is a 128-bit system. What were your thoughts when you first saw the graphics of it? Do you uh, remember? They were like top-notch for console at the time. So yep. I was like, everything looks super awesome. Like, this is cool. Like, I wasn't blown away. I was just happy with it. Yeah. You know? My my first uh, exposure was I think at a Best Buy maybe the day I pre-ordered it I don't it was a few months they had a demo I you know one of the units up playing uh, the Sonic Adventure game and the first level which is like the only level worth playing in that fucking piece of shit <laughs> but it, it really made a good impression like there's a I a mean I thought the graphics were really game. great yeah but it wasn't a yeah yeah I won't go into my diatribe of why Sonic Adventure sucks you didn't need but, it uh, anyway because. You know, we had caution semen. Caution. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but that that was my first uh, exposure to the Dreamcast, and I thought the graphics were great. I'm like, this is, you know, light years ahead of, you know, PlayStation 1 for sure. Yeah, even the N64 at the time. Like, oh, yeah. Wow. Like, oh, yeah. So smooth. Uh, colorful. And I knew right then. Have that shit. I had to have that. And I pre-ordered it. And you got that. I pre-ordered it. You pre-ordered it. I did. It was pre-ordained. <laughs> it was pre-ordained. One ninety nine is really good though for brand new console. Yeah, I think so. I wish every console still today was that. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that, Wouldn't be, that be nice? That'd be great. Um, so yeah, loved it, and it had a sh- a short life. Unfortunately, yeah, uh, but it had a. Was it less than two years, or was it just? It over? was, yeah, it was about two years. Then they just out of the blue, just discontinued. It was so it. out of nowhere. Yeah, yep. Um, there's a great interview uh, I just listened to on IGN. They have a, a podcast called Unfiltered, and uh, they interviewed Peter Moore, who's now at Electronic Arts, but he was the head of Sega at the time, at the time of the Dreamcast. So he he gives a lot of. It, it's a really good interview. He talks about, you know, the last days is of that the, Dreamcast, basically. Is that the man who died? What's that? What's his name? Okawa? Or, who was the guy who ran uh, Sega in charge of the Dreamcast? Uh, it, well, yeah. Uh, Nakayama? No. Or uh, are, uh, I think, Kawa? I think it was Okawa. And uh, he well, put... He was a, it no, was, he was uh, Nintendo. Minoru oh, really? Okawa. 
Weird. Yeah. I just watched a thing today. And Osawa. I, oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I, I don't know the name, but yeah. the guy who was running the, sh- the, the, running the show, yeah. he put tons of money into keeping it alive yeah. for the last, the end of the when life. He, when he died. The Dreamcast. Yep. And then he died like next month or something. Yeah. Or maybe next two weeks or something. He basically he died put when all the his fortune. died. He, yeah. He put all his fortune in. Uh, uh, as he was dying, he gave it all back to Sega to keep them afloat, basically, because uh, which were, is beautiful. They were losing money, and you know it, it was it was tough because I always thought the Dreamcast, like after the Saturn, just kind of had just I don't know poofed out. It yeah you know, it was kind of a flop. Um, the Dreamcast is a very beloved system. Um, it didn't sell as well as they wanted, and there were a couple other factors. Sony uh, was very smart. Uh, even though they the PlayStation Two was like a year off away, yeah, uh, they kept saying like, "Hey, when the PlayStation Two is com- going to come out, it's going to fucking trounce, you know, just be so much better than this." Didn't and that it... kept a lot of developers from like developing games. Like Electronic Arts never made a Dreamcast game, but Two K. That's true. They did. Two K was the shit. Oh man, let's yeah, let's talk NFL Two K. Two K Five, baby. <laughs> Even though it was PS2, yeah, be on the Dreamcast. That was my favorite football. I edited uh, rosters manually uh, in that game for three years. Really? Yeah. Did you do that for Tecmo Bowl too? No. Or, I don't oh, no, think you that. can. Oh, okay. They but, make ROM hacks of uh, Tecmo Bowl yeah, every year. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, homebrews. Yeah, well, I'm not paying 45 bucks for a roster yeah, update. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, people do anyway with Madden. So. Right. Who's going to be this year's Bo Jackson, you know? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, NFL two two uh, K or the two K series originated um, on the Dreamcast. Uh, right now, I think the only two K game that is still going is NBA two K, right? Yeah, and it's great. Um, and then we, on our last podcast, I think we er, talked about the demise of how we of the NFL two K and you know how Electronic Arts has the uh, exclusivity for the NFL uh, license and shit because. <laughs> NFL 2K was a better game. Yeah. Um, but, I, yeah, I remember picking up the first one uh, on launch day and just being blown away by the uh, uh, the, the animation and just the uh, the clarity, you know, uh, between plays. This was, like, the first time where you would run a play and then there'd be, like, a camera cut that would show the guys kind of walking back to the line of scrimmage yeah. or, like, high-fiving, you know? Right now, I mean, if, you, if I were to put the game in now, it would look just so bad <laughs> and archaic. But uh, at the time, it was just... It was it was silky smooth, baby. Yeah. I loved it. So, yeah, uh, Dreamcast also gave Rise... Or what, what games did you uh, have for it, or... You know, I didn't have that much. Uh, Crazy Taxi is definitely the number one probably play. Oh man! I, it's so it's so simple. Do you want to sing the soundtrack? Uh, yeah. The, I for the first remember. one? I don't remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The offspring? <laughs> How can you not remember that? Come on. I haven't played the game in shit a while. Shit, motherfucker. I'm gonna though soon. I'm gonna, you got to. I'm gonna put that. Crazy in. Taxi was awesome. I had a steering wheel and the pedals really? for that shit. And oh. I used to have. Uh, friends come over, um, and yeah, just drink beer and play that game. And, <laughs> I, and people who weren't, you know, uh, normally into video games really liked that because it was game. simple. It was, so it was simple. Yeah, it looked great. Yeah, and it was just fun. You're basically a taxi driver that you get points, and the you get better tips the crazier you drive. Yeah, in San, like a San Francisco looking town basically, and they always want to go to KFC hey. and uh, Pizza Hut. Well, yeah. hey, take me to Pizza Hut. Okay. They jump in your car and then you just got to fucking drive them like crazy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's like driving this crazy. Think they'll ever make like a ROM hack, like violent GTA crazy taxi game? <laughs> they should. And they should make a ROM hack with, that has Morgan Freeman as the driver. Ooh. And then you just pick up like Jesse Tandy. And he says Tandy. things and. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andy Dufresne. Things. Yeah. That's a great movie. Yeah. I. Never seen Shawshank Redemption. Oh, I've seen. That's a good it's one. It's been a long time. Yeah, that's not the one where he drives a car, though. Oh, I was gonna say, like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, Crazy Taxi was great. Um, Let's see, what else did I own at the time? I really didn't have that much of a crazy library because uh, the console died. I think I had a WWF game. Sure. Did uh, you ever play two uh, K games? 
the boxing game, ready to rumble with I had it on Bruce 60, Buffer. I had it on 64. Or Michael Buffer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did it come It came out for 9, N64? Yeah. Did it? Yeah. That was one that was a launch game. That was a lot of fun. That was a uh just a good silly boxing game. Silly boxing's where it's at, guys. Silly boxing game. The game had breast physics for the uh <laughs> the really bad, really bad uh breast physics for the women. <laughs> yeah. Like it looked like I don't know, elastic like fruit roll ups or something when they would show like uh, two uh dead or alive type breasticles. No, these are more like old lady stretchy kind of. Really? Yeah, they would just like stretch up and like undulate. Like, well, that's they were, fun. Yeah, funny. Yeah, I. <laughs> you'd have to. Yeah, that's what I remember. Um, that's probably all I remember because I'm a, I'm a chauvinistic pig. Shit, I'm just a pig. Uh Virtua Tennis. Have you ever played Virtua Tennis for Dreamcast? Possibly. One of the best games. It's basically Pong in like yeah. in, in a prettier shell. Yeah. But it's so good, and it still holds up. It still holds up. I played that a, a few months ago. Really? Yeah, it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, it's really easy, uh, or easy to pick up, you know. And it's Button it's a good press and it's a good couch co op, or you know, kind of game. You can play. Uh, I think you can play four players, which was nice. You know, two anything, on two. Anything four players? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, another, loved it. Another console with four four uh, control plugs in it. Yeah, that's yep. awesome. They, they they kind of borrowed that from the uh, sixty four. Sixty four, and uh, the controllers were kind of unique. They uh, they took off of the the Saturn uh, controller. That oh came yeah, out that had the analog stick. Is that for the Knights game? For the Knights, yeah, yeah. Which I like the Dreamcast controller. Uh, a lot of people have mixed reviews. I like it. I think it's awesome. I've got bigger hands, so I I like it a lot. Uh, it always felt comfortable to me. Um, oh, how about that uh, memory card slot? How about the memory cards? Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Yeah. <laughs> um, pretty fucking cool. They look like a little Game Boy. And, they, uh, yeah. And you, apparently you like can, a Tamagotchi like at the time. Yeah, you could thing. sometimes play like mini games, but I'm sure I never tried because what I've saw, what I've seen, it looked awful. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, you can play like mini games on a few games. So you could take the memory card out and it has a yeah. little LCD screen on it and a little controller like two, pad, you know, two and buttons two like buttons. a Game Boy kind of, but it's not game. Yeah, there was a I think Sonic Adventure. You could take your pet like a little pet, and then it was like seriously okay. like a straight up Tamagotchi, and you okay. could like feed him, you know, away. You could take the memory card out and feed him. And take Don't it kill your there. Sonic though. Right, and then when you plug it back in. He would be he would grow bigger in the actual game or something like that. So it was kind of unique, you know. Kind of yeah. they were trying to figure out. Um, I really like the illustrations when you're playing games. Yeah, it would show like your character. Soul Calibur would or... show the, like the logo or yeah, yeah, or, yeah. The logo. I, I thought it was really cool. Definitely like that was something when I first saw. I was like, that's really unique. What I liked. Um, so there was a Resident Evil game. That came out for that uh, Code Dreamcast. Veronica. Code Veronica, which was really good, is it, it was. I think it's one of the top. Yeah. Considered. It was actually supposed to be Resident Evil Three, the actual Resident Evil Three. Um, Capcom, you know, was developed as that, but uh, they they had to uphold a contract with Sony. They were contracted to provide another Resident Evil game, so they just came up with Resident Evil Three, the Nemesis one, and then they couldn't put a numbered. Resident Evil on another system, so they named this one Code Veronica. But um, it's really good. It's the first Resident Evil that's all 3D, like it's all not static, you know, rendered backgrounds and stuff. And yeah, oh, pop goes the weasel, goes the weasel, goes pop. Another one, baby. Josh, it's what are you sad. drinking? Oh, well, I got a couple here from Epic Brewing. Uh, I got the sour IPA. Epic. Uh, tart and juicy, baby. Oh, I got to try that. And I've had this before. It's it's not that IPA ish. It's IPA. mostly a sour. You're gonna get there. Right. You're catching up. I, I am a little bit. Um, one. I didn't want to finish my thought on the Resident Evil though. Um, talking about the memory card. Yeah. That was cool because it would show you your life. Like, it would show you your heartbeat. You yeah. Know, like an oscilloscope kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the the more dead you got, you know, the less. 
of like a heart, you know, pulse it would show. So that that was pretty cool. And it would flash danger when uh, you were getting towards the end. So yeah, di- of dying. But that was that was a great game. That's probably one of my favorite. Yeah, I've never games, played yeah. it. Oh, I th- I think I still have it. No, I. It's worth playing. Like, and you can download it. It's available everywhere. Now, yeah, you know. So yeah. yeah, it's definitely one of the best Resident Evil games. No, I'm still buying games with the Dreamcast these days. I didn't get Dynamite Cop till about six months ago. Let's talk about that Dynamite Cop. We no. finished it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We beat it last weekend. Well, what there's three game. missions. We didn't officially beat it. Beat we it. We beat one third of the game. Okay. Okay. <laughs> At least let me have that. Uh, Tom, fucker, I'm not going to let you run me. away with this. <laughs> You're not getting away with this. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm an no, asshole. No, how about the bad guy though? Ah, where's that girl? <laughs> and he's got like a. I'll fucking... be honest. The the story could have used a little more massaging. I think <laughs> I think that's the purpose of it to be like horrible and like cheesy as can be and. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. so. Where's my whatever? Get me my yeah. But that that's a great two player beat 'em up game. You know, it's just and it's you can beat it easily in one sitting at least you know like a half an hour half an hour per uh there's three missions yeah unlimited continues so um that i think that's the first actually i think the second mission you get a certain amount of continues and the third one oh really you can get less oh wow okay yeah it's the first mission is unlimited continues all i know is we rescued we rescued a girl and the president's she was, daughter, or she something, was dancing from uh, the the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I think uh, they are like in, they're pirates or whatever. Yep. And it is the Caribbean. <laughs> That's they were ahead of their time man. or something. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. They, right. Sega get some money. That's right. They got lots. Yeah. John Depp. Fuck yeah. That guy. Right. Yeah. But no, that was a, that was actually the first time I actually I played that game. So and I had always heard about it. Um, and yeah, I really, I really enjoyed it. I like Dreamcast is good for those kind of experiences yeah. and like the arcade uh, ports and shit. Um, yeah, uh, Shenmue. That is, I think, most people's favorite. Yeah, have you played it? No. Okay, I've only seen video on it. That that was a really. And I'm sure it's uh, revolutionary. The way people uh, are all up on Shenmue's nuts. I'm sure yeah. that it's probably really expensive. Yeah, maybe no maybe it, actually no i i don't think so it, it couldn't i mean it it sold pretty well I mean, yeah there's a lot of copies out there okay i got that too i can lend it to you but uh lend me your at the time Shemu. yeah this is it's hard to explain but it's a very you know set in japan you're this kid who's trying to avenge <sighs> his father's death but there's a lot of uh for the time a really open world it was you know built yeah it's like a, it was Pro- was, I think the most expensive game ever made up to that point. Well, it was before GTA 3. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. By uh, a year or two. Um, and, and GTA 3 got a lot of the credit. I mean, I don't know how big of open world Shemu was as opposed to GTA 3. Probably a notch. No. it's GTA yeah. 3 is pretty big. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's nowhere near. I mean, you, you don't get any on any vehicles except for a forklift when you're, uh, you have to go to work every day. Yeah. Which is kind of the part of the game that kind of turns a lot of people off where the game runs in real time or like, you know, sped up time. There's day and night cycles, but you have to work for like six hours of the day and you just move boxes. <laughs> you go to work and who fucking boxes. Yeah, it's it was like a, trying to be a life simulate simulator. And it's it's pretty much the game that pioneered uh, quick time events. Yeah. You know what those are like the quick time. You mean the QTEs? The uh, cuties, like say God of War when you're playing, and it, the square button flashes on the screen. Oh and you yeah, have to hit the square button, you know, uh, or the you know triangle button. Are you sure it was that, or are you sure it wasn't Die Hard Arcade that inspired those? Well, they did have those there too. Oh. Maybe this is a game that they actually coined the phrase "quick time events" because you could say like Dragon's Lair and those old arcade laziness yeah. games were all just one big fucking quick time event. Um, yeah, uh, Shenmue. Uh, that's pretty much a Dreamcast. Like, if you get a Dreamcast, that's a game that you need to play for it, or at least try it out. Uh, and the Shenmue 2 came out on the Xbox. Came out in Dreamcast in oh, J- yeah. Japan. But, uh, uh, there's people that want Shenmue 3 really bad. Yeah, they did, they did a Kickstarter for that uh, at the last E3. or during No that. go? They didn't raise the money that they wanted. There, it's still a go, apparently, but I think they only raised, like, maybe $6 million. So is it Sega going to make it? 
Well, they, I don't know. Somebody's got to subsidize that fucking cost. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but considering the first game cost like $100 million to make, so... Well, different <laughs> times, you know. Different, yeah, yeah. Um, it might be an iPhone game. I don't know. Oh, you know, man. Like that would be a big kick in the like, dick. It would be like Bejeweled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one game a friend wanted me to play, uh, he kept recommended, Sword of the Berserk. Or sort of berserker. Sort of the berserker. Maybe. Never played it. Yeah. Me neither. I. Yeah. It sounds kind of familiar Just though. Just a guy with a giant sword that goes berserk on some asses or something. Yeah. Never played it, but that's one on my list to check out. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be down for checking that out. How yeah. about the uh, the seminal music game Samba de Amigo? Oh, see, I've only known about this game. I've never played it like some of us, Tom. Oh, haha! Ha. So ha. much fun. So the only the only maraca simulator ever. Actually, it's not even a simulator. You it actually a, came with maracas. Yeah. That you have to shake along to the music of this game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Full disclosure: I may have had a period in my life where I, I took some acid sometimes. And uh, the visuals of this game <laughs> fucking just blew my mind. <laughs> I mean, even off, off, off the acid. Uh, but wow. <laughs> just these fucking coked up dancing monkeys and like this <laughs> pineapple woman just all dancing around to like uh, Rick, Ricky Martin and like Take On Me and by uh, Real Big Fish and shit. It was, man, I'm, I'm getting warm fuzzies. Yeah. <laughs> We're thinking. gonna have to whip that out gonna, soon. Yeah, someday soon. I yeah, I got the maracas. I need to find the game. I got I got it somewhere. Um, but yeah, I, I should really find that out. We should bring that to the bar. Oh the bar God, somewhere. just so that. much fun. But you would have to like yeah, shake the maracas uh, at different heights, you know. Yeah. And then it would, and every once in a while it would say pose, and then you'd have to like do the uh, whatever pose they're to pose, doing. Or? Yeah. Yeah, it okay. would show like a little outline of a guy, a stick figure guy doing a pose with the maracas, and then you'd have to like. Uh, that would be money the pose. at the and bar. It, yeah, <laughs> and you had to stand on a mat, and it could tell like how high you were, you know, had the maracas, and <laughs> yeah, it was it was a really good game. That is, yeah, that is a must play as well. Yeah, for show, I love it for sure, for sure, baby. <laughs> um, yeah, how about Space Channel Five? I only know is that that's a dancing game, right? It's kind of a dancing game. You don't actually dance. Is with it, it just a, a button mm -hmm. pressing? Michael Jackson's in the game. Is he? Yeah. It, you start as a this woman named Ulala. Oh shit! And uh, she a babe? She is. She's also a news reporter. I remember. It's been a while since I played this game. Um, I'll have to dig that one out too. And uh, yeah, it's you have to do button. Coordinated button, kind of like Parappa the Rapper, only with dancing. Okay, okay. Yep. And then you go through the story, and everyone just dances along with you, and if you fail, you the fail? world explodes or something. Oh. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I can't remember. But I, I actually want, kind of want to play that again. Anything else? Do you have that game? I do. Shit. Yep. We're going to have Dreamcast Day soon. Yeah, I know. I. It's like one of my few old systems that still work that I actually have. <laughs> so I fucking play yeah, it. Yeah, dude. Uh, Soul Calibur. I got to give an awesome shout out to Soul Calibur. Uh, this is a fighting game from Namco. It came out with the system on September 9th and easily the best, still to this day, the uh, the most fun fighting game that I've ever had or played. And wow, that's a lot. Yeah. And the graphics. You don't like fighting games. The graphics anymore. still hold up. Uh, I swear to God. I mean, they look a little dated now, but at I mean. They still hold up now, but at the time, it was crazy. This is like one of the first times where the this was an arcade game, but the home version was actually visually superior to the arcade game. It played better than the arcade game. It had more option, uh, you know, modes and stuff. Wow, um, it and it, that is a wow. Like at the time, you know, that was that time then. Yeah, when video games were catching up to arcade. Yeah, where the yep, yeah, ex exactly, exactly, and this is like probably. I want to say maybe the first time where, yeah, it was actually better, or at least the most mainstream, ver yeah. you know, uh, case of that. And uh, it was great. It was, it's, it's still fun to play. It's good. I mean, if you, it's good for the button masher kind of player. I mean, if you know what you're doing, you can kick, the, you can fucking kick ass, but it's also friendly to the guy that, or girl that doesn't know all the moves, but just bangs on the buttons and, yeah. you know, you can still have a lot of fun and it looks like you know what you're doing. So got to give a shout out to that because... Yeah, one of the first games on the system. Also, one of the best games through the uh, the life cycle. To Soul Caliber. 
Two Soul Caliber. Cheers. Ching. Ding. Josh, you know, know any more games that you want to talk about? I know that the logo in, uh, in PAL is blue. That's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a random fact. The European version. Um, there was the some swirl. company that has the orange swirl already down. That's right. Yeah. In, in that area. Of, yeah. They of had to the, change that. Of the Europe's. Fuck you, Europe. The country of Europe. Yeah, dude. Damn right. I don't know. What else is there? Dreamcast, talk to me. Dreamcast, I love you. There was uh, uh, Skies of Arcadia, which is a very good RPG. I remember playing that. Uh, oh, uh, the fact that it had online, like, for its time, it actually had a broadband yep. adapter. It had a, yeah, it, well, it came with a 56K modem. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the first you can, fucking you, uh, console that had uh, online capabilities, quote unquote. Uh, what? Fantasy Star on online was that? Yeah, their big one. Yep, I I have that. And I there's played people that, for that like still. I think they still yeah. play that yep. with some kind of hacking shit. Yep, it came with a, a web browser disc. Yeah, yeah. If you wanted to like surf the net, you could. I mean, it. This is back in the late nineties, so. Do you think that would still work? Um, I don't know. I <laughs> I actually found mine. I still it's have. All I still have fuck, my though. web browser disc. I've yeah. never used it. Yeah. So it's probably mint, but. Right, that'd be funny. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, <laughs> that that was pretty. That was pretty revolutionary. Yeah, you know, uh, maybe isn't a little that, too soon. Is, maybe a little too ahead of its time because isn't that how uh, it, the the pirating of their games happened? Was due to the broadband adapter. Um, it could be. You know, I, I saw something online about that. And yeah, that's mainly where they uh, stole the whatever information from. Uh, and that, that's definitely pirating of the games was one of the biggest uh, factors in the, the death of the Dreamcast. The, uh, the Dreamcast discs were proprietary. Uh, they were called GD-ROMs, I believe. And they could hold twice the ca- uh, capacity of a regular CD. So like I think like 1.2 gigabytes or something. Hey. Um, but they were supposedly... Sega thought that, you know, since it was like their own... Uh, format of disc that uh, they wouldn't be able to be pirated so unfortunately somebody did figure out how to pirate games yeah for it and use normal size cds uh to hold basically all the information of a you know the the actual uh, gd roms and stuff so isn't that also somehow uh the fact that People homebrew still like yeah. legit good homebrew games. Yeah, and that's how people can homebrew now. Yeah, because yeah, they can bypass all the security uh, measures and stuff. Oh my god, Josh busted another. Josh, I told myself I wouldn't. Fuck the birthday weekend <laughs> continues. Yeah. It's gonna be a good Saturday, Tom. <laughs> I don't gotta worry. Uh, I just busted an epic brewing lager, uh, Los Logos. Um, a Mexican style lager oh, nice. with lime and sea salt added. Oh, so really? I'm guessing guessing like a this Budweiser lime <laughs> I'm guessing yeah, I'm guessing it's their take on a Bud Light like lager. a, a Modelo, Medeo, Modeo, or a I like Corona. I like Pacifico. 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 Yeah. Senior. <laughs> yeah, that's good shit. I like it a lot. No, I like these kinds of beers, but I've not tried this, which I'm looking forward to. Well, you let us know how you how that tastes, man. Let us know. There might be a hint of People want to sour know. from the last beer, but I'll say it's <laughs> it's damn good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Good. Mm. I believe you. I might have to have a sip of that. What do you mean a sip? <laughs> well, a couple sips, baby. Sure. Sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stacking those cans, baby. Oh, yeah. It's early, and it's Saturday, and we're drinking beer and talking video games. What's up, everybody? Yeah, this is the, this is the dream. <laughs> this, is, this is what I've been working for. This is what we do. My whole life. This is what we do for you know. This is what we. This is our life. This is our life. Yep. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I and there are a couple more games, I guess. Um, I think that I had the Marvel versus Capcom uh, games. I had those. That's definitely. I what, love those games, but really good. I mean, I, I'm not a big 2D fire, that fighter. That is the guy. epitome of button mashing. Sure. Oh yeah. Like a yeah. Cu- almost a couple fights, and I'm like, fuck. You just don't know what my the thumb. I on. think is broken. Right. Yep. Same here. I. I mean, I thought those games were gorgeous, especially when you play it at an arcade. 
Which mm-hmm. I was going to last night at uh, Geeks Mania Arcade. In Madison, Madison, Wisconsin. If you're in the area, definitely one of the best arcades I've been to. That's awesome. They yeah. keep adding more machines, and yep. the place is fun as shit. Yeah, and they're but, yeah they're pretty new and they're, they're yeah going, they got a really good pinball uh, selection. They do. Yeah, they do. Two and but, last time I was there, they had like eight million San Francisco Rush. Or yeah, they actually upgraded to the next Rush game, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rush twenty forty nine or whatever, oh, it, whatever yeah, it's called. Green, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we I actually played that yesterday. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I just keep trying to go on that those loop de loops. And I think I exploded five times. I explode. I exploded. I exploded. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That place is great. Okay. Anyways, Marvel vs. Capcom. Great yeah. game. Those those were good. Um, they, yeah. I, I I suck at fighting games, but they were so pretty. They so are. Pretty. I think, and I think Marvel oh, vs. Capcom the... Two is kind of. It's not really expensive, but it's not really cheap. I think know? it's like a fifty dollar game. Yeah. It might be going up because. Dreamcast does have a following still, mm-hmm. but it's so cute. Oh yeah, yep. In even the Saturn, there's several of the Saturn games. Like I got X Men: Children of the Atom and uh, X Men: Street Fighter, the American versions. Yeah, insane. So oh, I God. bought the Japanese versions. God, the Saturn was such a great 2D system. Yeah, so good, so good, so good. A oh, baby. Uh huh. Yeah. And there are so many more games out there. Um, if we missed any, we're sorry. Yeah. I think I had the, the baseball game. That was not good. The MLB 2K or whatever it was, 2K1. Uh, I'm not really. I mean, baseball's kind of bad anyway. Uh, Man. I enjoy me a good a good baseball game when done right is actually. Yeah. I like it a lot better want... than the fucking watching the sport. I, sorry, I... guys. Not a big baseball fan, but whatever. I, I do like some baseball games sometimes. Um mm-hmm. I love Base Wars. I kind of want to try that Slugfest. I think that was an NBA jam. Okay, like, yeah. I think it's made by Midway. Right. You I still want... haven't played Baseball Stars. No. You fucking dick. Dude, I, I play Base Wars, man. I like I robots who you kill each Wars, other with machine guns. you can play guns. Baseball I just don't... Ladies and gentlemen, right into, the, right into the fucking dog cast and tell this guy to play Baseball Stars. The best NES baseball game. Let me hear it, With folks. people. With people. Whip it out at me. Yeah. Uh, Let's see what you got. The Neo Geo ones are actually pretty good too, but they're not as in depth as the actual yeah. NES one. So. That's crazy. Yeah, it's so crazy, baby. Um, funny little story. Uh, T scran, whatever they call it. Um, what is that? Uh, the, it's the it's that trade <laughs> trade sell by commit kill video games and retro shit or something. Uh, Facebook okay. page. Okay, it's kind of a big following. Um, I don't really ever post stuff on there. And I was just reading, what games do you not like? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, and everybody like was like, anything sports. Sports games are the worst. Yeah, actual sports are horrible. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> like, so many people, and I just comment, a lot of people sound bitter that they don't have any athletic ability to play sports. <laughs> right. Sports are pretty fun if you gave it a chance, maybe. Yeah, you know, get outside it's and It's a fucking move game, you know? Yeah. Right, but every, like sports I got so much like heat for that. I was like laughing pretty fucking hard. Heat yesterday. on the internet? Yeah, I mean, I didn't were... respond at all. Right, that's all I put was like a it. lot of people sound bitter and like everybody's like just basically as childish as can be. Fuck you, fuck sports, fuck you, fuck sports. Sports are gay. <laughs> sports, sports, sports. <laughs> yeah, sports. Uh, but it was kind of a funny thing that came up the other day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ian, uh, Pat and Ian always talk about that site a lot. They, they were keeping up on that one. Uh, what was it? There was that big, uh, money scandal. We oh, it was like wheel something. And it was like a gambling, like everybody pays 20 bucks and gets a chance to win a, Oh, that was the, uh, counter-strike. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Gambling, uh, racket. Yeah, they're, they're keeping up with that page a lot, and I've been on that page for years. So. Oh, that's cool. I buy games from there. Usually it's pretty cool, but that was a funny topic that came up. Right. Yeah. With all these video game guys. I fucking... I don't like sports. I'm too busy being on Facebook T-Scran page all day forever, showing off my bucks. Sometimes you just have Sculptors to turn off the club, TV and cut. get outside. You know? Yeah. It's good for the soul. Good for your bodies, boys. Yeah, and your booties. Wiggle them booties. Dunk das ball. 
That's basketball. Josh, do you have any imparting words that you want to give to oh, the Dreamcast? Oh, Dreamcast. Because we're talking like it's dead, but it, it actually has found a second life. It's still thinking. Um, but as you mentioned, there are a lot of indie developers who uh, are still coming out with games for it. Like, really legitimately good games. Like, especially like shooters and they shit. Act, yes. And RPGs. Shmups. Yeah. Yeah. Bullet um, hell kind of shooters. I and, enjoy those. They're fun. Ridiculous. Ooh. But, uh... Midwest Gaming Classic, they uh, one company was there and they unveiled. Dodampachi. They uh, they unveiled a, a new first person shooter for the the Dreamcast. You know. Oh, was that the guy at the uh, those guys at the they had a they had it on a arcade machine. Uh, it wasn't the last one that we went to. It, it might have been the one oh, okay. before before that. I don't think I've seen it then. But yeah, yeah that, I think it's super cool. And they actually released like a quality like case and whatnot. Yeah, um, yeah. I saw some of the Japanese ones. They're more like a almost DVD box shaped. Okay, yeah. So I thought the that longer was rectangular, of... not the same yeah. jewel yeah. case. Yeah, yeah, man. But uh, that's so cool. I it, think that's great. Um, it's awesome that they still make. Like, yeah, yeah. People go their time or spend their time making their own games. Yeah, I and like know. I said, they're legitimately good. Yeah, like full production kind of you know looking games. One day so. I need to dabble into and dig through what they've made and. Maybe you pick one up or two. Yeah. Maybe we can do an episode. Maybe we can. Dreamcast Indie Games. Oh, shit. Dreamcast Part 2. Dogcast on the Dreamcast. Dogcast, Dogcast on the Dreamcast. Dreamcast. Hair of the Dreamcast. The Sega Dogcast. Hair of Dust. I don't know what the hell's Dreamcast going on right now. Dreamcast 9999. 9999. Schnitzel. So that's a little snapshot of the Dreamcast. I'm sure we will speak more of the Dreamcast as uh, time goes by, because how can you not uh, when you talk about video games? Nah, you always I, talk about the fucking Dreamcast. That's all we do. Always. I, we're, we're I got, I got a Dreamcast and... tattoo above my penis. I, I what? <laughs> what were you saying? Whoa! Back up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying, Tom? I, I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> I right now in our our podcast studio, we have a black Dreamcast next to the original white Dreamcast, and I think it's just very, you know, we're bringing both sides together. It's pretty. Dreamcast it, lives matter. I, they do. Um, I like them both. Perfect harmony. I, I like too. them both. I'm touching them. It's both what's right inside now. that counts. Not what... It is. And Zombie Revenge is in here. Yep. And Soul Caliber is in here. Oh, Caliber. So it's all good. Some yeah. of, some of us people have Zombie Revenge in us, and some of us have Soul Calibers. We have souls. We all oh, that those two. And zombies inside of us. Yes. Uh yeah. So I think that was. That was a good good talk. It was you know? a good chat. Hopefully, we gave people some uh, ideas of uh, of good games to play on the Dreamcast. Uh, like I said, if you want to get back into it, definitely one worth doing. Yeah, it's one of my favorite systems of all time. Um, it still has life in it. It's still thinking. Uh, Josh, what beers did we drink on Let's this episode? Go over the our brew category. Let's recap. The Das Ias Hefe Weizen. From Nebraska Brewing Company. A very good standard Hefeweizen. Yeah, it was good. And then we went for the Packerland Pilsner after, and that kind of shocked me. I, I don't give a shit about Pilsners usually, but this was definitely one of the best I've had. That was all really right. good. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, we went to the Epic Brewing. Uh, had their uh, sour IPA, the tart and juicy. That was very good. Very citrusy. And uh, you were right that it it's more was of very a sour. less. Yeah, there was not much IPA to it. It, it has those grapefruit and citrusy uh, uh, notes and flavors, but definitely, yeah, more sour good. than IPA. But yeah, very good. And yeah. then went to the Epic's uh, Los Locos Lager. It's what we're drinking now. Las Mexican style lager with. <laughs> With a lime. All and, the Mex our and, Mexican listeners are just like, have and, their heads in their hands like, oh, yeah, yeah. I took Spanish for two and a half years, and I would have kept going, but I had a really bad instru instructor, so. Right. <laughs> but, yeah. It was actually a German class. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking schnitzels. Right. Oh, baby. Yeah. Yeah. But, well, good uh, beers, man. Locos. Yeah, these were all really good. We didn't want to go too dark today. Nope. We drank a lot last <laughs> night. <laughs> Way too much. But I'm surprised we went through these four like champ. We did. We got her done. And we got a whole night ahead of us. Baby. <laughs> oh. 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 Just thinking this... about it. Just thinking about it. Oh, you're ready, me... Tom. Just... You're ready to go right now. I feel it in my balls. 
<laughs> just ready. <laughs> with a little tingle, don't yeah. you? Oh, in go. that left there side. We, there we go. <laughs> so thank you guys for listening. Um, you can get a hold of us. Uh, please write in. Tell us uh, how we're doing. How are we driving? Yeah, communicate with us. Talk to us. Email us. Hear the dogcast Review at gmail.com. Uh, get us at the Twitter at uh, Hot Dogcast. And uh, yeah, you can like us on Facebook. Um, if you're on iTunes and listening to us on iTunes, uh, feel free to leave us a review, uh, either a written review or give us a couple of stars. Uh, that would be great. At we'll least go... two. I think we've earned two out of five at I least. Think, I think we're a two star podcast. We're solid at two least. out of five. Yeah. We're, we're gonna, one day we we'll might hit the two and a half. Uh, 2.75 yeah. on the scale. Give it to us, baby. But it, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, the, the reviews will help us. Uh, get visibility on uh, iTunes uh, for other people who don't know about the Dogcast but might be looking for a video game podcast so we can expand, hopefully expand our listenership. So thank yeah, you dude. all for listening. We love you. This has been the Dogcast on Dreamcast. And we will see you the next time. Don't don't fondle it like that. Uh, Just keep fondling. Oh, I think it likes it. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a push power. Oh my god, it's, it's opening up. Oh. Uh, all right, till next time, people. This has been Hair of the Dogcast. I'm Tom, and this is Jack. And we will see you next time. Thanks, babe. Bye. Did you really do some acid right now? Oh, somebody let me go. Ay, 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 ay.